welcome back to Return of the King, Brock the Investigator. I am not the king, the king is Brock. <laughs> I, I'm back. Wanted to record Brock again because, um, one, I really want to see what happens next, and two, I felt like it, it might be something that's kind of nice to, to get back into, um, you know, a little distracting from the shit that I've been going through. But, uh, but, 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 but be, be nice to me. I don't know if I'll be on uh, up to, up to snuff. It's uh, been it's... a month. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Over a month, actually. And we were in the middle of a, uh, an investigation into the death of a, uh, Dr. Hush, right? Yes, Dr. Okay. Hush. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, I got my notes, and I got the schedule, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, just uh, be patient with me. <laughs> yes. Also, Mantis is here. <laughs> yeah, I'm here too. Uh, in case you're wondering on the looking for our lost cat front, she is still missing. But we had somebody spot her yesterday nearby, so... In a tree. In a tree. (laughs) So hopefully she will not be missing too much longer. Yes. Should we talk to Tidy? Have we talked to Tidy? I... I don't know. (laughs) I know we talked to the guard, and we we kind of got some more information from him. Dead Daddy! Still dead. I'm afraid so. Okay. Okay. Looks like we have talked to him. Yeah, but there isn't, like, a interrogation thing here, so... No. Oh, we can ask about the lamps. Let's ask about the lamps. What can you tell me about this lamp? Dirty! Let me clean! No. Focus. I need Bad useful tiny. info. Locked by a fingerprint reader. Who knows how many secrets transition through this device? I think we'll have to take it back to Hush to open it. Yeah, which we probably already did and probably got all the information from it, but again, I don't. It's been over a month. I'm, yeah. I'm trying. So, a weird data transfer at 445. And that's all? I thought there'd be much more info on there. We don't keep a lot of information locally. Once we transfer our files, most data is saved remotely and local information is removed. Great, until the outside cannot be reached. Okay, so 445 happened between the time in which uh, Hush was... left. He left uh, his. Wait, no. The arrow pointing towards the number is entering. Entering, and then the so... arrow pointing away is exiting. So he entered his room. Yeah. Transferred the data left his room at 5.04. Correct. Because he left the bathroom at the same time he entered his room. So he went from the bathroom to his room in less than a minute. Yeah. I meanwhile, mean, they were next to each other, so... Yeah. Meanwhile, Mink, during that time period, was in the bathroom. He enters the bathroom at 4.40, exits at 5.04. Yeah. Then okay. goes back to his room, and Hush disappears off the face of the earth. Yeah, Hush leaves his room at 5.04, and then we do not know where he went. We know that, like, Tidy can open doors, um... But cannot her... enter Mink's room. Yeah. My oh, man, where did you go? <laughs> we also do know that uh, it only detects who is opening the door, so yeah. it is possible for somebody to open a door and walk in with somebody else. <laughs> yes, correct. So, obviously, there is the concern that seeing as they both were outside at 504 that they could have both entered Mink's office and then Mink presumably clubbed this man with a ant burger ah! seeing as he is covered in tomatoes sauce hmm. Hmm. can we get back into the the vent yeah we can get into the vent be sorry, sorry, Doctor nope. Hush. I've seen everything there's to see. Okay. Now apparently certain? we can't. Yes. I almost got stuck in there forever with no food. Don't be silly. <laughs> I would have sent some ant burgers your way. <laughs> <laughs> A burnt power socket, not too far from the body. 
I'm trying, I'm trying, but nothing happens. That'll break it, and I don't want that. Yeah. Uh, can we examine the lamps again? Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. This one was on the shelf in Dr. Hush's room. That's the lamp I found next to the body in Dr. Mink's room. Oh, wait. Okay. And uh, we can go to Mink's tablet to uh, examine them. Like, you know, get their, their data. Yeah. So, so that that's where that's where Mink's lamp should be. Yeah, yeah and it was all the way over here. Yeah. And specifically important to note that they have each other's lamp. Yes. We don't know how that happened. That wouldn't be too hard for one to get swapped out for the other. Yeah. But we still don't know yeah. how that happened. They kind of stay stick apart from each other from what we understand. Yes. Some gibberish. Hey, that's my research. It's highly confidential and valuable. Better not waste my time with this. I feel like there's probably an Easter egg in there. There, there probably is information in there because you can translate the language. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, give me that back, just in case. Thank you. I need to put a connected object or any organic item on here to obtain information. Is there a specific topic you're interested in? Let me think. Just a hemp burger? That's all I have? Um, all the thing we have at the moment. Nothing so we'll comes to mind. Maybe later then. Yeah, this will definitely come up later. Ah, ba, 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 ba. So if we open our inventory, we should be able to... Well, with the tablet open. We should be able to put, like, items on it to uh, detect stuff. <laughs> Will Dr. Hush's lamp reveal some secrets? Uh -huh. So, yep, yeah, right, right. It belongs to Mink. Current service. service. 10, 5, five ten. 10. 10. It received a fatal shock. So the lamp died at 510. Oh, uh, we should probably... Have we talked to the guard about that? Uh, he entered... Uh, Hush's room at 510. Yes, I believe we, we did. We had interrogated the guard. Did he get shocked, or is that something else? I said the lamp was shocked. Okay. The lamp died. Lamp died. So, fatal damage early this morning? Curious. At least I think that's what it's trying to tell us, where it says fatal shock. I suppose it could be that the lamp, you know did deliver something that would stop someone's heart. Which would imply it would be, say, in a socket that may have burnt out, like the one in Mink's room. Yeah. But nobody entered or exited Mink's room at 510. Mm, no. Let's see what the supposed murder weapon has to say. Huh. All necessary stuff for a lamp. <laughs> sure. Huh? Maybe they exchanged them by accident? Here are the logs. Hmm. There. Major shock at 1102. Let me check. Hmm. You're right. That's the only relevant information on there. So these two so both had a shock. Is this the murder yeah. weapon after all? So we it's at 1102? 1102, which is shortly before we entered any of the rooms. Interesting. Is right before we entered the building. Which, you know, would track if, say, because that lamp is broken. Yeah. Like, busted. If, you know, Hush fell out of the vent holding the lamp. Yeah, yeah. He's not holding it. It would anything. definitely be, uh, uh, you know, there's a some major black shock. Stains on That's the true. Like, this could be burn marks. Could be burn marks. It could be ink. It could be, like, coffee. <laughs> it beeped. And Wait, what? Wh Why'd it beep? it? What did you expect? A talking lamp? Well, yeah. It's a connected object. You should be able to get more info with my tablet. Good idea. Wait, why did it beep? <laughs> it beeped. 
So and we've said this one too, right? That's okay. It. That's what interesting. Did you expect? A talking lamp. Well, Such yeah. Such an odd. It's a connected object. You should be able to get more info with my tablet. Good it idea. Is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. That probably is beeping because it's being held by somebody registered to use it. Yeah, that makes sense. We talked to the guard already, right? Yeah. Dr. Mink. Oh, okay, we've got some new stuff. Okay, 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 Mink. (laughs) Sorry for earlier. Uh, Tell me more about your work. Currently, I strive to improve the nanite's efficiency. Could these be used to kill someone? Doubtful, but technically possible. With bad programming, they could destroy the host. But we've been working on this technology for a while now. This never happens. Although... Although what? Go ahead. Destructive effects can happen if the nanites were mixed with specific organic elements. Oh, Such as interesting. Corrosive acid? That would definitely leave some traces. Could it be possible to destroy a body without external damage? I think I encountered some plants with this ailment. I would have to check my logs. Well, let's just assume it happened. How would we know? The nanites are trained for survival. Once the host is near death, they leave. Okay. They couldn't last okay. long on the outside. You'd find inactive nanites less than three feet away from the body. I'd better check the surroundings for any nanites in unexpected places. Good idea. Can't see them with my own eyes, but I'm sure I have a right we to have a job. magnifying glass. Yes. That is... That's a lead. Yeah, that is a massive lead. I know it'll sound harsh, but do you believe Dr. Hush committed suicide? I can't deny that he had been acting strange recently. So, I guess it's not outside the realm of possibility. I just find it weird he would do this in my office. Unless he really hated you. Do you think Tidy could have played a role in the murder? I don't see how. He cannot access my office. Besides, Dr. Hush is his maker. He could never... Hurt his creator directly? Yeah. Uh, let's keep some distance with that reasoning. My trust with technology is limited. A true detective never turns down any lead. When can we expect the result of your investigation? Uh, well... Can't shake the feeling I may have missed some clues. I probably shouldn't no, make no, an yeah, announcement. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Be patient. This isn't an ordinary case. Oh, too bad. All this stress is killing me. Okay. Oh, the investigation. Yeah. That's why. Okay. Okay. Can we show him the lamp? That's Doctor Hush's. Maybe you should analyze it with my tablet. Okay, so he's gonna point to the tablet, which makes sense. Okay, makes sense. My poor lamp. (laughs) Well, good news. You can take Dr. Hush's. He doesn't need his anymore. Brock. Brock. (laughs) Brock. Brock, Brock. Just a moment. We'll continue this discussion later. I'm not the only one here. Interrogate the others. Don't threaten. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I'm. I'm. Hit, hit, hit. Right, so check that stain with the L. Yeah, let's hmm. check that stain. Upon further inspection, uh, that's not very clean. Can't see any of those tiny bots from Dr. Mink, though. Okay, that's good. Okay. Dr. Hush. Check the L. Uh, check, 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 like, you know, different parts, like the, the hand. And Whoa! Stuff. His hand is literally covered by nanites. Oh, oh my goodness! That's what that black stuff is. Oh, was. fascinating. Okay. So now we also know that the nanites are black in color. Yeah. Okay. Well, no fleas or ticks. <laughs> A fake injury with, with the tomato tomatoes. sauce. Tomato sauce, whatever. A few nanites here on this hand, but... Not enough to conclude anything. He may not wash his hands often. Well, okay. no fl- no, okay. shit. What about yeah. the burnt out socket? Oh, good I idea. I one or two nanites. 
He may have caught a few after lying on the floor like this. That's that's the that, map. That's the map, Brock. No nanite there. I can check the sink. Oh, I found nothing at all. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Upon further inspection, uh, that's not very clean. Can't see any of those tiny bots hand. from Dr. Mink, though. Yeah, we know that there's a bunch in his hand. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Open your inventory. Click the magnifying glass. Combine it with the lamp. The broken one. Oh, good idea. That's the lamp I found next to the body in Dr. Mink's room. No? Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's the lamp I found oh, okay. next... This one was on the shelf in Dr. Hush's room. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, never mind. I thought we could inspect the lamp. <laughs> no nanite there. Oh, we know there's a... I found nothing we at know there's all. There's a box of nanites. Maybe check the tape. <laughs> hey, there are tons <laughs> of those tiny bots. Look in at Dr. Me. Really need a magnet. <laughs> yeah, I see tiny robotic thingies scattered on this table. Then again, it's his workbench. Can we talk about the fact that there's nanites on his hand? Like, yeah. what's uh, what's up with that? What's up with Ooh, this man? His hand is literally covered by nanites. I better write this down. Unless he. Unless the nanites didn't leave him here. Check the bathroom. Good idea, good idea. Like, we need to check everywhere that right. might have nanites. No nanite on that coffee cup? This shouldn't be a surprise. And yet... Hmm... Upon further inspection, uh, that's not very clean. Can't see any of those tiny bots from Dr. Mink, though. No nanite there. Okay, so we know that there was... Uh, obvious, obviously there's the shower to check, and there's that uh, garbage disposal. Oh, Wait, I found bag. nothing at all. Bag? Hang on. Shower. Hmm. Upon further ins can't see any of those <laughs> tiny bot- Okay. <laughs> Get, fuck, careful. Fuck! In my defense, <laughs> it's been a while. No nanite there. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. So it's not like there are nanites in the ant burger. Oh, I found- Nothing. You found yeah. nothing. Okay, so... Hush's office, then. Wait, what about all this? The biscuits. Yeah, we can check the biscuits. Biscuits. I'm pretty sure they're just biscuits, mm. but. Upon further inspect, I can't see Not any of those clean. tiny bots can't from Doc. Okay. We got that. I check, check the spot of coffee. Wait, how come there's a ton of nanites on this particular oh. coffee spot? <gasps> mm. That's mm. interesting. There were nanites mm. in the coffee. <laughs> Every time I think I know what's going on, <laughs> what? Who put that in there? What's in there? Nothing in particular. So no. Mink mentioned that the nanites could hurt you if they mix with certain organic compounds. Yes. Was a person count as certain organic no, no. compounds? The, the nanites go in people. Oh, right. Okay. But... Coffee? Maybe coffee. Maybe tomato sauce. That could be it. Or tomato sauce. However, maybe like hey, you know, the, the ant burger, mm. you know, like he was covered in the stuff, so. Yes. Did I check the tomato sauce? No nanite there. Uh, oh, I, I found... think you did. Mm. We're, we're, like, it would make sense there wouldn't be any nanites in, like, 
the, the, the sauce itself, it was if, if it was in the cough. Mm. In. Yeah. Can't see any of those tiny bot. Is there like a particular like spot that the coffee is in? Yes. Here, I'll show you. Let's inspect the coffee. What restroom doesn't have its coffee machine? Knowing them, I bet this produces other drinks too. Oh wait, did I not? Really? I didn't we select. Don't need yeah, I decided. Hang on. <laughs> hey, there seems to be a few on that machine. Maybe I'll find some more around here. So check the cup. Oh, oh, I found. Mm, oh, nah. shoot. Okay, well we did check the cup, but I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Wait, wait. Actually, let's the check heck? the sink. It's full of nanites stuck in that. Yes. Sink. Yeah, okay. Okay, because it wasn't this, in the cup. There seems to be some kind of flower. Doctor Mink flower? must have flushed some experiments. What? No, I've never done such a thing. I. That's about to say he has his own. Then. Hmm. What are they doing here? Beats me. Okay. Here, I'll do the cup just to cover. No nanite on that coffee cup? This shouldn't be a surprise. Okay, so Yet. there were nanites in the coffee. Yeah. In the coffee machine. Yeah. In the sink, but not in the cup. Exactly. Okay. Hmm. A palm can't see any of. Meetimi? Oh, maybe, maybe we can, we can there. try Meetimi. We can't, we can't, no, we shouldn't uh, assume. No nanite there. Nope. Okay, that's yeah. okay. Yeah, let's gonna double check the sauce. Double check the sauce. The sauce. And, you know, check more stuff in the this room. A fake injury with tomatoes. tomato sauce. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Okay, tomato, so. tomato. We check the stain. Yeah, we check that stain. We checked there. Uh, is there anything else on the table to check? Tablet. Check the tablet. Okay, Zad so just opens the tablet. Never mind. Anything else on the table that we haven't poked? Doesn't look like it. Uh, wires? Surprisingly. I can't see any nanite running over those wires. See? I'm a real detective. <laughs> I was expecting some badge. No, this is way cooler. <laughs> uh, Bro Brock is right. It's a magnifying glass that determines the mark of a true detective. I need to understand yeah. something. You're not the only one. You fixed it? Of course not. That's the other lamp. I wouldn't mess with evidence. And stop touching them with bare hands. <laughs> that must have hurt. Obviously, he's dead. <laughs> Doctor Hush used it. Please unlock it. Like I could. Stay okay. put. I don't have okay, okay you know. Mm. Let's uh, let's unlock the Doctor Hush's again. Oh, tablet again. Let's see. Not sure if it's gonna give us any new information. So, a weird data transfer at Oh, I the right, end. I forgot that's what happened. Of Once we transfer. Great. Da, 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 He's not da, da, da. holding anything, but. Uh, there's some black stains on his fingers. It's all nanites. It's all nanites! <laughs> okay. What do the nanites have anything to do with anything? Um. Hmm. I mean, the nanites would, like, obviously. Could have obviously caused him to get, like, hurt. Oh yeah. Obviously. If you realize that he, say, ingested nanites and whether intentionally or unintentionally, and they were actively hurting him, yeah. you realize that. He may have tried to get to Dr. Mink, being that Mink is a expert on the nanites. Be like, hey, I need help. Mink obviously didn't open his door. So yeah. he tried to break into Mink's office. That could make some sense. Because hmm. Mink could have been Upon boogie, boogie, boogie. Yeah. I was going to ask for a hint. Yeah, ask for a hint. Croc, dude, check, check the plant. Check the plant? There was a flower flushed, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, thank 
you. Clue? What did I just do? I think he walked through the exit door. Wait. Oh, no, you switched to grass. I didn't mean to do that. Clay, almost. You bet. This place gives me the creeps. I didn't mean to do that. Just look at that thing on the wall. (laughs) Dang it, Graf. Um, I'm more concerned about all those bots. They're inactive, you fool. Got a bad feeling anyway. So, what are we supposed to do here? Hey, find out by <coughs> yourself. <coughs> you okay? I'm <coughs> I'm fine. You forgot to take your pill. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't take mine yet. Maybe I can give you half. Does it work hey, like that? Oh, don't geez. you dare! Oh, we still have a mm-hmm. pill to give Graf you later. Oh, that's true. Jerk. That was mine! No big deal. You'll get one as soon as we go out. Besides, you know a pill isn't efficient unless you take it whole. Ah, you'll never change. Always so arrogant. If I wasn't so tired, I'd beat the crap out of you. Focus! You'd better get out of here fast, buddy. You won't get away with this. Okay, should I switch back to Brock? Yeah, switch back to Brock. <laughs> okay, um, how did I do that to begin with? There, that's okay. how I did it. Mm, nice scent. That'll be ten unis. Ah! What? That'll be <laughs> ten unis! Kidding. But next time avoid crippling my precious plant right in front of me. If it's that precious, I'm gonna keep it. Why would you do that? Okay, well let, let's. Okay, we've we got a flower. flower. Shit. Okay, so we can either we could try examining the flower, yeah, or we can take it to the tablet. Yes. I'll need another idea. way to identify this flower. Yeah, take it to the tablet. So. What's this? What's this flower? Uh. Phoenixy flower, phoenixy, phoenixy flower detected. Phoenixy. Phoenixy. I was right. I wonder if this has time. particular medical effects. Okay, so now we can search. Is there a specific topic yes. you're interested Let's in? Look at this flower. Let me think. Phoenixy. Wow. Isn't that the plant lying on Mr. Guard's desk? Yep. Okay. I don't quite understand why you need info on this, but. You're the detective. I found something. Cricket is screaming. Should we go check on Cricket? No, she just wants attention. Okay, so... So we're back from, uh, entertaining a cat. <laughs> uh, so... Phoenixy belongs to the rooted variety. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, it blossoms twice every year after a period uh... of... Uh... What's going on? Something's annotated below. I tried mixing those phoenixy flowers with nanites. Programmed or not, it's no good. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, okay. Is that a note from Mink? Because, uh, like, he was the one doing the nanites. It's probably Mink. He did mention about there being certain things he'd have to check in his logs. <laughs> mm. They ca- Oh! They cause the host's cardiac activity to slow down immensely, ultimately causing death. Lovely. Great. Do you think? Yeah. Dr. Mink must have written this. We gotta talk to Dr. Mink about that. Yeah. So, detective, it's a how pink, long is uh, this going flower. to take? Hmm. I've seen this somewhere already. Okay, so it's probably going to be in the actual, like... You know, investigation breakdown. Then. Probably, yeah. Just a moment. We'll continue this discussion later. I'm not the only one here. Interrogate the others. Like, the nanites were in the coffee that were in the bathroom. But how'd the flower get in this situation? I mean, if he, you know, picked up a flower or sniffed a flower, maybe. It was in the sink, right? No time to wash yeah. my hands. Touching it could ruin any potential evidence. Yeah, uh, that too. Okay, so I did look up to see if we were missing any clues. There is something. There's like some like round things somewhere in the bathroom we haven't picked up. Okay, well, I'll look around. I know what happens when we do that. 
Well, we already no nanite there. there. Oh. Hmm. Is that a pill bottle? <laughs> Put away the, the 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 thing. It's just co it's just coffee in there, right? It's just it's just coffee, from what I hmm. understand. Just keep stealing their food. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we can. We keep stealing their food. It's, it's very rude of us, really. You notice when I I walked over this to close the uh, fridge wardrobe? I did notice. Yes. <laughs> the ant. That's the wrapping right? for McFlee's flagship ant bird with extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Did I look at it with? Let me see. Hmm. Upon further <sighs> inspection. I thought I had something for a minute. Nope. No. Nope. No. Okay. Go back to the uh, wardrobe. Oh, okay. Click on the clothes. I should inspect this further. Only one way to do it. Oh no! Why didn't you do this more gently? I don't have all day, you know. Okay. Okay. Now oh, we can. Uh, I didn't have that one. Now, now we should be able to find some stuff. What's this? Looks like pills? Yep. Definitely pills. Who's are they? That's gotta be what tell. Don't look at me. I've never seen those. Is Dr. Not Hush taking for? some medication? Mm -mm. That's highly probable. No one else lives here. Yeah, it'd either be Hush or me. I've barely had contact with him lately. Maybe you should analyze them. Good idea. Yeah. yeah. We'll use the uh, tablet. See anything else? Wardrobe in general, <laughs> I guess. Plenty of room now. <laughs> well, of course you emptied it all out. Okay. So, hill. Excel 500? Never heard of it. But now we have a new search thing. Is there a specific topic you're interested in? Let me think. Hmm. That's a drug for patients suffering from defective organs. Acting what the fuck? Normal. No physical activity? Cell 500 is your boost you need. Let it boost your body to ensure that you're always stay up to shape and young and spring as a chicken. Uh, sounds more like an ad than medication. Dr. Mink? Evil caffeine. Did you know you call it? can be already things? pretty evil. No, but that does make sense. We don't exactly have a lot of physical activity. I don't take this. I prefer the all-in-one menu. All-in-one? It's regular powder food with stimulants incorporating the exact and appropriate dose of food based on our medical tracking. Huh. Nothing surprises me anymore. Okay, so he's taking a medication for not getting enough exercise. Yeah. Ah, uh, that was. Particularly notes for organs that are not working properly. Yeah. Then had coffee nanites. Had coffee, coffee with nanites, nanites. Yeah. And interacted with a flower that causes bad interaction. Yeah, with bad, bad interaction with nanites, specifically the heart to slow to a stop. But why was he taking nanites with? the medication, and uh, how did the flower get involved? Did he just sniff it? Did he taste it for some reason? I don't know. Let's look at the well, schedule. Like, yeah. if he if he interacted, if he was taking that, mm -hmm. he might have been trying to essentially replace the use of the medication. Yeah. You know, like, he's like, okay, my body is not working properly. The nanites are supposed to fix that. Yeah. So he might have been ingesting nanites intentionally. Yeah. Then had some bad interaction with the flower. Is this like a series of bad coincidences? Because we still have to take the lamp into account. That is true. We have not figured out the both lamp. both lamps. So Dr. Hush entered the um, bathroom at 419. Yeah. <laughs> Tidy entered the bathroom at 424. Hush then exited the bathroom at 4.38. Presumably with Tidy. Presumably with Tidy and re-entered his room at the same time. Transferred the data. Yeah. 
Meanwhile, Mink went into the bathroom and was there till, you know, 5.04, which is when Hush left the bathroom, so they would have kind of crossed each other, but about the same time, Mink walked right back into his room. So they could have missed each other, possibly by a slim margin, or they could have seen each other and not really interacted, or Hush could have followed Mink. Yeah. Because, like, the next thing is at 9. Oh, well, actually, no, the next thing is, like, when uh, the guard checked in at 5.10, which he checked into Hush's office. Wait, let's talk to uh, Tidy. Tidy, 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 tidy. Yeah, we can try to ask him Tidy about the medicine. Medicine and the flower, yeah, maybe. Well, the medicine. Still dead. I'm afraid so. Tell me about this. Did your daddy take these? Too late, daddy. D can you answer the question? Uh, did he? Wait, what out? do you look like that for? Um. That was tidy. unusual. Tidy. The fuck uh, is that face? Did he bug out? What is this face? The flower breaks tidy. That's interesting. Mm hmm. Hmm. Tidy? Hmm. No moving. Yep, yep. Good boy. I need to understand something. You're not the only one. We're all very confused here, huh? <laughs> hmm. I've seen this somewhere already. Dr. Hush's medication? Correct. Which drug, exactly? No idea. Ask my tablet. I'll look around for clues. Really help. You better find out the culprit, because I wasn't involved in this. I still believe Mink. I'm, yeah, I'm starting I, to think it was some sort of insane co series of coincidences. Yeah, no, agreed. Got more questions. Still can't believe you did this. It's a crucial clue. You stole yeah, the right. flower. <laughs> I believe Dr. Hush was taking these. So? Can you confirm? No idea. <laughs> Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Very helpful. Stay put. Um, I don't have all day, you know. I know, I know. We're gonna go easy on me a little bit again. I, I just got it. He forgot to check the painting in the back of Hush's room. I was thinking about that, actually, but I kind of assumed that it wouldn't have any, like, you know, important information. So let's check on this painting. No nanite there. Okay. Hmm. According to the map. What are you doing? Fuck? Yeah. According to what map? Something's off. I mean, I what know the map. Mean, but... Just yeah, what do you mean, Mr. Brock? Hang on, I want to see what. No. Hey, Brock, can, can we can we see this map? Can we? Let me get to see this. Fortunately, map. this building is small. Let me see this fucking Fortunately, map. Fortunately, this building is small. Okay. This is on the other, according to the map, this part, this spot right here is on the direct other side of Hush's room. Correct. Yeah. Uh, Hush and Mink. Hush and this Mink. This is right behind where the lamp and the nanites are. Oh, okay, I see. So we're thinking maybe he's uh, got a fake wall there? He's got a fake wall. He's stealing nanites. Why would you do that, my to dear To eat sir? them. Obviously. Why would you eat the nanites? Like, click on the wall. I don't understand. Why would you do that, you dumbass? Okay, we're punching the wall. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're right. We're punching the wall. Why would I think it's... No! Oh, oh my goodness. You broke the wall? I In a perfect it. square, Some yes. paper-thin slab was obstructing this. Huh. A hole. Looks like it. And this leads right to your room, Dr. Mink. I had no idea. It's small. No one would fit. I wonder if anything got through there, though. But That's Tidy can extend his arms. Yes, Tidy oh, can extend like his all arms. The hints I need. But explain the Time lamp together, switch up. Let's talk to Dr. Mink. Okay. We've got... Brock has all the clues now. <laughs> Great. Anything On else you want to say side, about this hole? I can see. Yep. Definitely Dr. Mink's office. There's a table with a box of nanites on it. My precious nanites! Don't tell me someone used them. What do you think, you. Dr. Mink? It's pure conjecture <laughs> at this point. We know that, like, 
<laughs> we know for certain that Hush was ingesting nanites in his coffee. Yes. Okay, so... Hush was for some reason stealing nanites. Maybe for some info that he was transferring to some other location, right? Yeah. But he was also taking medication, and at some point he took a flower. Yeah. He possibly did, like you said, go over to try to get Mink's attention because he was- he got sick. He got yeah. super sick, and Mink couldn't hear him because Mink's jamming out, right? Yeah. Mink's jamming, so he decides to use the vent to get in. There's no ladder, but, like, Tidy can extend his hands, right? Yeah. So Tidy stuffs him in the vent, where he's struggling just to get through the vent. Where does the fatal shocks come into play? I don't know. All right, let, let's let's gather everyone together. I think I think we can figure this out if we we list out what's going so, on. So, detective, yeah. how long is this going to take? Uh, is it okay if we continue, or should we stop because it's it's uh, 40, 50 um, minutes at this point? Mm, let's stop. Okay, we'll do we'll do the the this next time. Yeah. We'll do the whole conversation next time. We'll figure it out. We're very close, I think. I think we don't have all of the details, like, unfuzzed yet, because I don't know how the lamp quite fits in. I mean, I guess the lamps could have exploded at a diff- No, no, we have dates. We have times. We have times they went psh. When did the- when did they go? Just a moment. I'm not it was like a five, one. right? Yeah. One was so a five, one was a eleven? Yeah, one others. was at eleven or two. That would be the one that was with the body. The one that, oh, the one that had a fatal shock was at 510. Hmm. Which would likely would have been the thing the guard heard. Yeah, yeah, the guard would have heard it. Okay. Hush can't use the hole to walk through. It's not big enough. Yeah. It's big enough for someone to reach through, but not walk through. And there's really nothing, there's no, you can't pin it on Mink, I don't think, because like, Mink would have no reason to reach across a painting. No, like, no. It, there's a table with nanites, so like, and the, the, the lamp is right there. It, it makes okay. most sense that okay. Hush was going into Mink's room. Or, yeah. alternatively, yeah. Tidy. Okay! What if Tidy, like, is aware that, like, there are nanites, the nanites can help like, Dad, you Oh! What if Tidy stole the nanites, because Tidy can't enter uh, Mink's office, but could reach through a hole, mm. put the uh, nanites in, like, the coffee? Okay, makes sense. And it could have been, like, that Hush didn't, uh, didn't know Yeah, like, Hush time. couldn't have been, like, might have not been aware that that was what's going on. Yeah. But... Why did Tidy we act weird about the flower? I have no idea. <laughs> there are holes in every version of like the, the series story. that we've presented. So yeah. Brock's gonna explain it to us ah! next time. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll untangle it. It. it we'll, we'll We're real it. close. We're we really have, close. We have every piece in front of us. Just have to arrange it in the right order. All right, well, we'll do that next time. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this little trip back into Brock. It was fun. Apologies for the amount of backtracking. I, it's been a month. <laughs> yeah, who knows how long this episode is going to end up being. I'm probably going to cut out a lot of the uh, yeah. revisiting stuff. M maybe Mantis will cut out the backtracking, so you'll never know how much backtracking that we did at the beginning. Who knows? Yeah, so we'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. Yes. Bye. Bye.